I still remember that I was one of the first YouTubers in the dev community to create a course on AngularJS. This was back in 2015 and chances are if you are watching this channel, you know, you have watched some of that AngularJS content as well because that is what got me for the most part where I am today. But AngularJS is turning out to be dead. Now I recently came across this end of life thing in AngularJS which I'll discuss at the last but just wanted to shoot this quick little video on you know what's happening with the AngularJS state as of now. So the data if you go to sites like Google Trends and everything you're gonna see that the data is not exactly in favor of saying something like dead because if you see for things like PHP and uh, you know some older technologies they also follow a similar graph but this is a bis bit misleading in the fact that AngularJS was immediately superseded by something known as Angular right and because they share so much in common that is in the words Angular and AngularJS they are often confused with one another another so the data is usually biased people when they are actually searching for Angular in 2020 they just go ahead and write angular js because it's a tendency to just add js to anything which is javascript related i don't know how we got that but yeah it is somehow jquery um skip that there's nothing like jquery js but yeah so again angular is better angular is different from angular js for people who are confused angular js was angular 1.x Angular is Angular 2.x and onwards, right? Angular is better in the sense it's faster. It's built on TypeScript, which is again a super set of JavaScript. It supports universal, that is server-side rendering with Angular, which is, you know, obviously much better for performance and SEO. And Angular works on new web APIs, which AngularJS did not make use of or could not make use of because of the browser support back in 2010. AngularJS but at the same time it was one of the most important things in the history of um, web frameworks if not the most important thing because it made a path for frameworks like React, Vue and Angular to be born right. Angular was I, I don't exactly know if there was any better framework which served the whole MVC thing before Angular when it was launched in 2010 because before that you just have to manually go ahead and uh, do the most of the work with the, you know vanilla and imperative work that is you have to imperatively do everything update a component not even a component update an html element you have to do it with your typical inner text or inner html you have to add an element you have to do dot create child so it was all very imperative and very close to the dom but AngularJS made that convention know that, hey, why do we have to abstract? Uh, why do we have to expose the whole thing to user? Why not we create a better layer and handle the, in the underlying functionality ourselves? That is the view, controlling the view functionality. So it definitely paved a good path for future frameworks, for future libraries like React, Vue and the Angular of today. So it was definitely one of the most important things I would consider personally because I have used it as well a lot in the past so it was a, a very important thing of the web frameworks and yeah AngularJS is coming to an end of life on December 31st 2021 again it's an year later but it's just there right because um, it has been for uh, in the end of life support for three years now two years now exactly it started in 2018 but in 2021 it would be officially the support would end for um i think enterprise customers as well i'm not really sure on their terms but that is i think what end of life means so yeah it, it has been a good 11 year run with angular js and i have definitely enjoyed working with it in the past what is your experience with angular js um are you somebody who has worked with it in the past or are you the old guy or are you the cool kid in the town who has never heard of angular shares let me know in the comments below let's have a quick discussion on that that's all for this video i'm gonna see you in the next one